All right, well, if you read today's email, you know that you need to have printed off these notes today, and you know that this is going to be a fairly serious unit of study. So uh, you got to be ready to work. you got to have stuff ready to go when you watch these videos. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, today's lesson should be completely review of Integrated 2. Um, but sometimes when things are reviewed, that doesn't necessarily mean that you actually remember them. So you want to make sure that you watch this, do the notes, do the problems with me, and then uh, we, we should be good to go. Uh, remember, a lot of this stuff is preparing you for your uh, pre-calc class, your college algebra class, your intro to college math class. Um, do the work and you'll be prepared. Don't do the work and the words uh-oh will be coming to mind a lot next year. All right, so uh, first thing we want to do is sketch these parabolas, y equals x squared minus 2 and y equals x squared plus 1. So uh, remembering from first semester, uh, minus 2 moves us down 2. And then you need to remember your rule for graphing parabolas. For graphing parabolas, it's up 1 over 1, up 1, back 1. That's the rule for parabolas. So again, we'll move it down 2 because the minus 2 moves the parabola down 2. And then we'll go up 1, over 1, up 1, back 1. And we have graphed that parabola. Okay, now to graph x squared plus 1, you'll move up 1. Everything, remember, starts from 0, 0. The vertex uh, will be off of 0, 0. So again, plus 1 moves us up 1. And then we go up 1, over 1, up 1, back 1 from there. And again, I mean, this is not very complicated, and you should feel like, okay, I've got this. I've done this before. Okay? All right, for the second one, uh, y equal, well, actually, let's go back and let's uh, label these so that you have them in notes to be able to look at. So this first one that we did was y equals x squared minus 2, and this second one is y equals x squared plus 1. All right, so letter B, I just want to kind of reemphasize for you from first semester, y equals x squared, this is your parent graph. Remember we said for a parent graph that every other graph comes from that, we do it from that way. So there is no right, left, there is no up, down, there's no reflection, um, there's no stretch. So we just start off of 0, 0, everything comes from 0, 0. Remember I said sometimes parents can be a tad boring, start from, start from 0, 0. Go up one, over one, up one, back one, and there is your y equals x squared graph. Okay, again, do these along with me, you'll have a better chance. Now, for negative 2x squared, this negative 2 is going to do two things. It's going to reflect across the x-axis. We know that. The negative does that. And the 2 is going to produce a vertical stretch factor of 2. Okay, so again, we're going to go off of 0, 0, and now instead of going up, we'll go down. And instead of going up 1, which the parent graph rule is, we're going to vertically stretch that by a factor of 2. So we're going to go down 2, back 1, down 2, over 1. And then you have your negative 2x squared graph. So y equals negative 2x squared. Boom, got it. Okay? All right, now, moving down here to C, C has a plus 1 inside parentheses. Remember, that's where your right, left, up, down comes in. Or, sorry, your right, left comes from the inside. The up, down comes from outside in the back. So your plus 1 inside is going to move us left 1. Okay, so you just move left 1. There's no stretch or compression. So you just go up 1, over 1, up 1, back 1. Boom, got it, done. Y equals X plus 1 squared. Now, minus 2 inside parentheses is going to move us right 2. So off of 0, 0, we'll go right 1, 2. So that means that the vertex will start there at 2, comma 0. And then you'll go up 1, over 1, up 1, back 1. Okay, just like that. All right now, kind of the key to understand is that these equations are in vertex form. So if you want to know the vertex, let's come down here for a second to this equation. So if you want to know the vertex, it's going to be the opposite of h, comma k. So opposite of what's in here in the parentheses, 
comma, K, the number in the back. So if you come up here to letter A, the first one, your vertex here is going to be, well, there's nothing with X, so it'll be 0, comma, the number in the back, negative 2. If you look at this one here that we just did, the last one we graphed, the vertex would be 2 opposite of this number here, comma, number in the back, 0. And if you look at it, the vertex is there. I'll kind of redemonstrate that now in letter D. So letter D has got a lot going on. This is kind of the most you can have. So you got a negative in front. I'm going to actually write these words out, these rules out. The negative in front makes a reflection across the x-axis. Okay, the 2 in front is a vertical stretch, factor of 2. Your 3 inside is going to move us right, no, 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 whoa, left 3. And then four, uh, the plus 4 is going to move us up 4. Okay, our vertex there, and that's going to be an important part of this, our vertex is going to be the opposite of what's with x, so it'll be negative 3, comma, 4. There's where your vertex is going to be. All right, so you'll go left 3, up 4. Okay, that'll be your starting point, your vertex. And again, you can see that, negative 3, comma, 4. And then you're going to reflect, so the reflection is going to make the parabola open down, okay, with a vertical stretch factor of 2. So instead of going down 1 over 1, you're going to actually go down 2 over 1, down 2, back 1, and there you go, you have it. Okay, there is your equation y equals negative 2, parenthesis, x plus 3 squared plus 4. Okay, that one's graphed. All right, the second one here on that same grid, uh, we're going to go ahead and look at what the directions would be here. There's no vertical stretch. There's no reflection. We are going to move it because of the minus 2. We're going to go right 2, and then we're going to go down 3. So right 2, down 3 is where we're headed on this one. So again, go right 2 on your graph, go down 3, there's no stretch or compression, so we're just going to go regular up 1, over 1, up 1, back 1, bingo, got it. Okay, so y equals x minus 2 squared minus 3, I labeled there next to it. Sorry, it's kind of bleeding into that other question. Um, Vertex-wise, if I asked you the vertex of this one, you would say, again, it's opposite of the negative 2, comma, negative 3. Now, all of this you've done in integrated 2, how well do you remember it? That's always kind of the issue, and that's what we need to be able to do. So, explain in your own words everything we should know about this. I've already talked about where the vertex is. It's the opposite of h, comma, k. What does a do? A is a vertical stretch or compression. So A is vertical stretch or compression. And it can also reflect across the x-axis. Okay, so it could reflect across the x-axis. The H is going to move us right-left. So H is right, left shifting, and K is going to be an up, down, okay? All right, so that's a review of graphing parabolas. That's something you're going to need to be able to do, so make sure you watch that. There's going to be a few videos today. This is a, this is a longer lesson, like I said, I mean, in the, in the email. The stuff is more complicated. So we're going to have a second video for you to watch in just a second, which is on completing the square. That is pretty tough, so you've got to make sure that you're watching this. If you can't complete the square, you can't do the next three sections. I mean, it's just it's over. So again, completing the square, the next video is going to be critically important. Make sure you switch to that now, and we'll continue on in the notes.